was it pure coincidence that a six hour time frame goes and the minute I call and the guy's like, I'll escalate. I'm gonna make sure you get offers. Immediately I get something. Yeah, look where we're at. Want to give you guys an update on the video I made on Monday when I went five hours without seeing any offer, not accepting one, not seeing anything on the Spark Driver from any location, Home Depot, Walmart, Sam's Club, what, nothing. I'm gonna tell you why that happened, what I did to see offers and why there are no such thing as coincidences in the gig economy when it comes to these apps. I think this is gonna be helpful for some of you that might have similar situations based on the comments. I think some of you guys are like, well, no, it's just slow, or no, that's happened to me, or that. It was not that it was slow. It was not that it was before an election. It's not that people don't have money. There are orders there. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. Let's go. Okay, so that day I woke up early, it was busy. In my market of St. Louis, at least, in the area that I'm at, I see orders all the time with the, with the Spark app. It's, it's very, I mean, I might go 10 minutes without seeing something or 15 minutes without seeing something that's good, but I see something. To go that many hours, I knew something was wrong. I restarted my phone, I did this, I did, you know, all the, you know, I had connection, I had this, the cell phone bill was paid, like no issues at all, right? None. I called, I'm gonna put some screenshots here. I think the last order I accepted was like 10.30. And I called them at like four o'clock or some somewhere around that time. And I was on an Instacart, Schnook's order. I called them and then I was on my way to pick up or shop these two items. So my app, my Walmart Spark app was still on. The Spark app was still on. So I'm doing an Instacart and then I noticed it's starting to go off. Now. That's immediately after I called Spark and said, hey, I hit, I think number three or four, I can't remember the prompt about not getting orders or whatever it is about my account. No, I asked a account, status of your account. I call a guy and, and I say, I just wanted to make sure I'm not like deactivated or my account's in good standing. I didn't get any, can you tell me what's going on? Because it's been six hours at this point, right? And I haven't seen not one offer. And it just says searching. I'm not getting any kind of, I got connection. I'm telling him, he goes, oh, and he apologizes. He goes, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna escalate this to somebody else. I'm gonna escalate your problem so that you can see orders. I know what's first, you know, he, he's reading off the script like all support agents do. It's very nice though. I said, yeah, I just, you know, I get it. Like, you're gonna tell me uh, I'm gonna see offers. I'm like, whatever, dude. You're just telling me whatever to get me off the phone. He says he's gonna escalate it. If I can take a survey after, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm doing my shopping. And I, I hear it going off. And then I accepted an order. I started seeing offers immediately after, and my app was on all day. Six hours, not one thing. Why do you think that happened? Let's pause the video. You tell me, has it happened to you? And why do you think that happened? I'm gonna tell you why I think it happened. Some of you say, well, the app might have been glitchy. It might have, might have thought you were still on an order. Now, the last order I did got canceled by one of the stores. And then I was still active on the thing. And I had turned it off and on 10 times. So some of you think, oh, the app thought you were on something so it didn't send you anything. Eh, I, maybe that's true. I have no idea. I believe, I believe that certain accounts just get, you can call it shadow band or whatever. They just get lost in the, the app matrix and nothing's gonna hit your phone. Not because you're deactivated, because you'll get an alert if that happens. You'll get, I wouldn't have been able to get onto the app. Not because, you know, of ratings or slowness or there's too many, too many people in your Spark page. You're talking about Spark now. People, no, 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 no. That's not the case. It's not that I wasn't seeing good orders. It's that I was seeing nothing. Zero, not a zilch. My account was just frozen without me knowing it. The tip here is, if that happens to you, if you go, I would say, if something doesn't seem right to you, like, man, it's been an hour and I haven't seen anything, two hours, nothing, call support. Let them know. I haven't seen anything. I don't know what's going on. I want to make sure I'm still good. He told me, yeah, your account's active. You're in good standing. You're fine. He basically... Whether he escalated or not, he hit a button somewhere and my account 
went back into the matrix and went back in. Hey, this person, we need to send his device some things. There's not a coincidence that immediately after I call him, I get an order and there's a six hour time frame. If I would have called at 1130 instead of waiting until 430, I would have gotten something at 1130. I would have gotten an offer at 11. I know that. But I called initially and a girl, the first, I did call 11 or 1130, but she said, well, just restart your phone. She didn't mention anything about escalation and it had only been a little while. It had only been not that long. I believe I talked to the right agent. He, he, pressed, he, he pressed some button to make sure I got something. It worked. Calling support sometimes can be a hassle. It's frustrating. There could be a language barrier. You might hear roosters and cockroaches in the background. <laughs> if you know, you know. But what do you have to lose? Nothing. And you have everything to gain. I could have just said, you know what? I'll wait till tomorrow. No, no, no. I'm out here to make money. I have an app on. I want to see something. I want to be able to fish through the trash and grab something that's good, that's worth my time. If you in your market, your app's on and it's search, still searching for offers by you and nothing's happening for a significant amount of time, whatever that means for you, you, you know your marketplace. If it's 30 minutes for you and you're like, because call, say, hey, can you just check on my account and make sure it's okay? See what happens. Many of you have had similar times and maybe you call already. Or maybe there's something else you can do. I don't I don't know. I waited that long because I was just like an amazement. And I just worked Instacart and Uber and it wasn't the end of the day. And in the world, I was still able to make earnings. Call support. Have them push that button on you or whatever they're doing. Escalating, to whatever that means. So that you can, 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 can continue to earn and see opportunities. These apps, these software companies are glitchy. We know that. Call support and have them push the button on your account if this happens to you. I wanna hear from you guys. Am I theorizing? Am I speculation? Am I speculating? Am I wrong? Was it pure coincidence that a six hour time frame goes and the minute I call and the guy's like, I'll escalate, I'm gonna make sure you get offers. Immediately I get something within minutes. Coincidence? Or do we figure something out? I'll leave it up to you guys in the comment section down below. I'm waiting for this order. I'm going to wait patiently. So my last order of the day, it's 308. After I complete this, we're at $300, almost exactly. We started today at 7 a.m. We've made $23 on Uber, $0 on Instacart, and $270 whatever on the Walmart Spark app. You guys have a great day. Hope you earn well. Be safe. Make good decisions. Practice patience when you can. Call support when you need to.